Our Heavenly Father, as we gather in this place and witness the joining together of Austin and Tessa, we give you thanks for their individual lives up to this moment and now for their lives as husband and wife from this day forward. I made a list of promises to you I just had to write them down and say them out loud I feel so lucky that God gave me you Lift up everyone around I can't believe what I found But no one will you take my hand Just smile and say Catch me if you can I want to take the longest trail with you The one that starts right when we say I do Mary Hall to Brianna Dry to Grand Marae and up the mountainside. We'll keep chasing this I love so true. Forever only running after you. came to the church uh, that he and his family are a part of. Austin was four years old when I became pastor at uh, Heights Community Church. And so I have watched uh, Austin grow up and uh, go through the youth group and off to college and here we are today. Now I have not known Tessa obviously as long as, uh, as I've known Austin. But um, after meeting her, uh, my first real interaction with Tessa was one day I, I pulled down the driveway at my house. And so Tessa had, I call, I'm sure there's a proper name for it, I call it the jungle hat with the, with the netting and the long sleeves. And so as they had put the bees in the beehive and so she was giving me all the ins and outs on what to do and what to expect and you know how things might work and should work and, and all of that. Now because of the beehive, I had to do a little research on, on bees. And you know, the beehive is totally run by the queen bee. <laughs> the beehive is ruled by the queen bee. And there is no king bee in the beehive. You, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Brother, after today, you're in a beehive. You understand? Okay. All right. I, Tessa, take you, Austin, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. I, Austin, take you, Tessa, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, so long as we both shall live. He said, if I speak, in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love. I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And so Austin and Tessa, as you wear these rings, may they remind you of the vows and commitments that you have made to one another and before God this day. With this ring. With this ring. 
I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Tessa and Austin, having witnessed your vows and commitments to each other and before God, I do, by the authority vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Virginia and by the Church of Christ, pronounce you to be husband and wife. And Austin, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my, my high honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Austin and Tessa Lohman. Since I've been about 14 years old, me and Tessa have become very close. And uh, she calls me every single day now. And uh, I don't always answer. But I truly appreciate it. You know, it, it really means a lot to me. to be his best man today it's an absolute honor for me but more so it's very honorable of him because he's finally admitting that I am the best I'm lost, but on my way in love and out of place old plans are making sense to me There's something about your I'm not a fan of long speeches, so I'm going to keep this short, yet strong, like my man Austin. I've always heard the opposites attract, but I don't know if I ever believed it until I met these two. I know sometimes we may not be reading from the same book, let alone the same page. But as we get older, those two stories, they start to come closer. And tonight it marks the final chapter to an end of your book. And tomorrow marks an entirely new day, a new story, new characters, new plots, new twists, and it's two new people co-writing life together. There's no better way to end this speech than with a quote from Austin's favorite show. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as a fusing of two metals with a hot torch. I think you guys are two metals, gold medals. But you know, over the years, I've grown extremely close to Austin. And uh, he's truly filled the role of the older brother that I never had. And I couldn't ask for anyone better to marry my sister. This could be better than